Why is vodka so popular in Russia? Russian climate is too cold to grow grapes. Like all other countries with this climate, Russia was originally a beer country. Distilled spirits are considerably more expensive than beer, per unit of ethanol, unless the country is advanced enough to allow industrial mass production of spirits. Once that happens, the country is at risk of moving from a beer belt to a vodka belt. It takes a lot of social awareness and or government effort to either prevent or reverse this switch. England hit this stage in the early 1700s the so-called gin craze, but the English managed to put a lid on it eventually. Russia only got vodkafied in the second half of the 19th century, and, since then, its government vacillated between actively encouraging consumption of vodka to boost tax receipts, not being there at all, and occasional half-hearted attempts to fight excess alcohol consumption by promoting total abstinence up to and including cutting down wine grape orchards which did not work much better there than in the US in the 1920s. That said, things seem to be slowly changing. Poland, which used to be a vodka country just as thoroughly as Russia, has mostly switched back to beer. Russia is still a vodka country but its distilled alcohol consumption peaked in the 1990s and has been declining since. P. S. It might be worth mentioning that vodka as we know it simply did not exist, in Russia or anywhere else, before 1880 or so. To make vodka, you need a way to produce highly concentrated and purified ethanol. That requires, at the very least, a column still, which was first patented by Aeneas Coffee in the UK in 1830. You can't remove all congeners with a pot still. To make cheap vodka out of any throwaway starch you can get your hands on E. G. Potatoes, you need advanced rectification technologies, which only reached maturity by 1890. The word, vodka, itself is way, way older than that and it was used to describe either all strong alcoholic drinks, hence, you can find old Russian texts mentioning, French vodka, I, E, cognac or specifically medicinal herbal tinctures with high ethanol content. Because once it reached Russia from Poland in the 16th century, the Russians quickly understood what s very good good and necessary for their cold climate. Just like Poland, Russia has a cold climate and vodka is a good thing to warm up and keep cheerful. Polish and the Russians both drink a lot, yet the Russians took it to the levels of insanity and serious danger as it became a social pathology. There is a severe problem of alcoholism in Russia and with that also a high rate of extreme domestic violence, especially noticeable amongst the lowest and uneducated classes of the society. Russian people going through the extreme hardship for centuries, harsh monarchic rules of the czars, then through various revolutions, communism, perestroika etc 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 had to find some consolation after all, there was no one to trust and no one to sing or cry with, so they decided that in vodka they trust and then they cry and sing and drink again. Dot. Many people erroneously think vodka comes from Russia but it was, in fact, invented in Poland in the Middle Ages or even before that, originally used as a medicine only, later the people realized it s a good recreational drink so they drank it and still drink. Dot. It became a cliché and a bad stereotype simply because the Russians really drink a lot. I guess younger generations like to adapt more Western standards and drink more beer and wine and not necessary gallons of vodka as if drunk in excessive quantities it really damages your health. We Russians like to think of ourselves as a no-nonsense people. Vodka is a no-nonsense drink. We make a great pair. Wine, beer and the rest of the stuff involve too much of gustatory and olfactory factors. Too cumbersome to produce, shelf life as a factor of quality, the confusion of picking the right sort. You bring in your buddies, and they drink, and someone always comments on something that is not all perfect about the taste, or smell, or color, or vintage. Neither mismatches with the food and the occasion will ever go unnoticed. This is all so irritating. Vodka makes you free. Correctly brewed, it doesn't smell or taste anything. Right from the fridge, at minus 30 centigrades, it doesn't even taste alcohol. Heaven enters your body as effortlessly as the air you are breathing. Vodka is timeless, affordable, simple. It's the godly promise of clarity, ease and elegance which are often too hard to come around at our place. 
The picture below represents the three bare bone basics of Russian civilization. Rye bread is the food that has been carrying us through thick and thin. The faceted glass cup is said to be designed by a Soviet woman, when communist made glass turned out too brittle and opaque for the regular smooth circular cups. And of course vodka, looking like water, the baseline liquid of life, but much, much cooler.